What's up guys? My name is Casper and guys, I miss you. And I know you miss this face too. Like my smile? Yeah, I, I, I like your smiles too. Anyway guys, this week we're going to be talking about standing on God's promises. I'm actually stoked about this. Anyway, have you ever heard of a family member or a friend of someone who has been sick and they've been healed miraculously? Or someone who has been sick and they went to the hospital and they come back feeling fine? That is actually one of God's promises that he has promised us in the Bible, and that is healing. And when Jesus died on the cross for us, when he died for the punishment of our sins, we received a gift of being in God's family. And together with God, God has given us the promises that he has promised to us or through, Jesus, through his son, Jesus Christ, we have those promises. And one of those promises is healing. Let me read you guys a verse from the Bible. And this Bible verse is from Isaiah 53, 5. It says, I'm reading from NLT. Check your Bibles. It says, But he who was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins, he was beaten so we could be whole, he was whipped so we could be healed. When Jesus was on earth, we know that he healed people. He made people who couldn't see have sight, people who couldn't walk, walk again, and people who couldn't hear, hear again. How amazing is that? That is incredible to hear that, which actually reminds me a story in the Bible from Mark 5, 24 to 34. Read it. It's in your Bibles. It's an amazing story. You guys are going to enjoy it. A large crowd followed and pressed around Jesus. And a woman was there who had been sick for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many, many doctors. And she had spent all of the money that she had. Yet, instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she had heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and she touched his cloak. Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding around you, his disciples answered, and yet you can ask, Who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at Jesus' feet, and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. This story is incredible. This woman had been sick for 12 years. She had gone to doctors, spent all of her money to try and find out what was wrong with her, and nothing was working and yet she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and with one touch she was healed. But Jesus didn't stop there. Do you think that Jesus knew this woman's story? Of course he did. Do you think he knew how scared she was to touch the hem of his garment? Of course he did. Do you know that she was so scared that she couldn't even stand in front of Jesus? And um, Jesus could have gone, how dare you, you evil woman, touching the hem of my garment without asking for permission for healing. But Jesus didn't do that. He turned to her in love and he said to her, daughter, you are healed. And if you think the, the term daughter, your mom and your dad call you son and daughter, it's a term of love. And that's how much Jesus loved her, is that he loved her and he said to her, daughter, your, your faith has made you, has healed you. And by her taking that step of faith and touching Jesus' garment, her faith is what healed her because she took that step of faith. And isn't that just so exciting that by taking that step of faith, she trusted that Jesus was going to heal her and Jesus did. Do you know that Jesus has the power to heal any disease, but he also doesn't only want to heal diseases in our bodies, he also wants to heal the hurts in our hearts and in our minds. Just remember that we are called the sons and the daughters of God and He loves us so much that He just wants to pour out our love, His love on us. And if you've got anything wrong with you, if you need healing, step out in faith and ask Jesus to heal you because God loves you that much that He wants to heal you today.
Guys, God has the power to do anything. He has the power greater than sickness or any disease that you may think of. You might be thinking that we're living in 2021 and Corona has been all around. God has the power bigger than that. I'm going to read you guys a verse to actually encourage and motivate you, right? It's from James 5, 14 to 15. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with the oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Isn't that great? I love that scripture. It speaks to me from the heart. Guys, God can heal us any way he wants. Sometimes it can be like a miraculous healing or like an instant healing in other sense. Or sometimes through doctors when you go get medicine or you drink the medicine. So you better drink the medicine that your mom is telling you to drink because it's going to heal you. It's going to make you better. Our body is created or designed to fight germs and to fight any disease that come into our body. That's how amazing God is. If you want, like, if you think about it, like, how does my body do this? That's when you know that God is awesome. So God designed our body to fight off germs and diseases, which is cool. We can pray for people when they are injured or sick, or even ourselves. Don't be shy to put hands on your head and pray for yourself even when you're sick. And also pray for other people. We can ask God for help wherever we are, when, whenever, right? Let us pray together. Father God, thank you so much that you have given us this body that fights off sin. And with your help, Father God, you have given us the promise of healing. And God, you heal us from any disease, from any injury, and you love us, Father God, and you care for us. You're always there for us, watching us all the time. Even when we do something wrong, Father God, you forgive us and you, you're the God of healing. And we appreciate that and we thank you. We don't take that for granted. In Jesus' name we pray and we say, Amen. I remember verse comes from 2 Corinthians 1.20 and it says, God has made a great many promises. They are all yes because of what Christ has done. So through Christ we say, Amen. We want God to receive glory. God's promises for us are yes and amen. Have a great day.